Elite Savages. And we got a boy Malik over here. He is the newest member on the team. Uh, <laughs> He took a two to what two to three year hiatus, man. And Damn. he's just getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! We're getting him started with something spicy, which is gonna be the emancipated combo. He's also building his own deck, which is gonna be dinos. So hopefully he can get a profile out here soon, and hopefully you guys can see that. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey guys, this is Joe from Elite Savages. It's a new name. Uh, used to be Team Elite, the best captain on this damn team. Gang, gang, let's get into this video. All right, here goes my Sky Striker preview or profile of my deck. I just want to shout out to this Dark Magician. <laughs> that boy be killing it. All right, so first, Dark Magician needs some bays, right? He got three of them things. <laughs> so yeah, you know, every Sky Striker deck needs this card. It's basically the game. This is what makes game for this deck. And go with it by Dark Magician. Next one is his number two piece. You got to have Rose. Rose is pretty good situational, and it's another copy of Ray. Uh, you just to do your shenanigans or whatever you need to do. I actually like the fact that you can, um, you know, destroy their late monster and special summon her. Or if you summon a, a any sky strikers, you can summon her again. She's four, so it matters. Um, typically, you may want to play a second copy, but if you only have one, that's fine. Uh, one reinforcements of the army to get into Ray as well. Okay, so now the spells. Spells are what makes the deck right. So. Two shark cannon people play three but i find out playing three was really bricky i would end up drawing all of them and couldn't do anything or didn't have enough spells so that's what i like uh two jamming waves just because back row decks are pretty heavy sometimes uh, a lot of rogues going around so it's, it's really good against rogue uh two widow anchors because it's it's a really good card and you can't I would, play three <laughs> yeah i can't play three i wish i could but this card says um you know let me try to beat you as fast as fast as possible i always like that where you like Chain one, chain two, take two of the monsters and just attack. And just I used to do it against uh Thunder Dragons at one point, or they used to do it against me when I played Thunder Dragons, and I, I used to get salty. Uh, this is one of my favorite cards too. Afterburners, it just pops. So you know they have like typically when they have a lot of negates, they have a lot of monster negates, but not that many actual Omni negates. So I usually try to bait them out with this card, and then just start trying to play the game after that point. Uh, the one ofs you're going to play. One of the token maker, it's cool, but you know, I'd rather, you know, something else, but it's okay. Uh, multi row, this card makes all your, all your, um, Sky Striker cards, uh, what's it, Speed Spell 4? Is that what it's called? Yeah. And it basically, it just gets you back in the game sometimes. And then it sets your cards. So you're, you're just trying to poke at your opponent until you can just beat them. Um, yeah, these are really good. Um, just to get to your Ray Terror for me. And then I play one of the Mystic Ed. Like this card is, is great. Like, you know, it just stalls you out. Sometimes you can use Afterburner to pop your, your own monster just to keep Mystic Mind on the board. Sounds bad, but sometimes if you have light points and your opponent has under you and it's game three, Mystic Mind still game ends, you know, whatever. They can Mystic cry. Mystic Mind wins you game. Yeah, Mystic Ed is the thing. But see, that's Ed right there, and then that's his opponent. It's laughing at me, but it's not that funny. Um, I just like this because I always, I guess I'm a bad Sky Striker player because I end up playing it and no spells in the grave when I need spells. So until I can get a you know better play style, this is what I like. I prefer. Uh, one of the MVPs of the deck to me is Cyclone because I just like it. It always comes to where I need it. Uh, you can banish the Boral Savage um, token. You can banish the, the lock that they use with... Um, with Union Driver and they, or they could banish Crescendo, anything, Rage, War, you know, you just, it's a good card. Mystic uh, yeah, Mystic Mind or Mystic Ed as we call it. Uh, three, three pots. You see, these are, these ain't Italian or Ultis. These, these are, these are nice though. They're rare. <laughs> these are three old effect dealers that I got from, from Ed. Uh, or Pedro, I can't remember, but they're Those nice. Yeah, they were nice too. Fake Villars is good. I'll, I'll, I'll put these on the side for a combo. I'll show you in a minute. Now, this is the MVP of the day. This card, when every time you activate it, people's faces get salty. Like, you activate and they still, like, they'll have a monster. They'll try to link out. They'll have, like, let's say a dragon. They'll link out to a dragon. You can't do that. Why can't I do that? And you have to explain, like, for four minutes why they can't do that. But this card is amazing. Shout out to Alex because he gave me these. He's our sponsor. Uh, judgment because it's unfair. 
And then the last, I play a lot. Like this, this my build's basically, it's very defensive, even though as a player, Yu-Gi-Oh player, I think I'm more of an aggro player, but I just wanted to do something fun. So like I said, this is fun for me. Uh, but I, I I like this car. This car is good. It just, I don't know. I like pissing people off and you just shoot that car back up to their hand. Or if they use uh, Jet Synchron and then they bring it back to the graveyard, you activate it, it banishes instead of going to their hand. So it's kind of funny. And then they can't get into Needle Fiber, which, you know, everybody plays. Uh, before going to the extra deck, another, just a shout out, like a little tech you could use is, uh, you know, uh, the ghost girl, I think this is cherries because everybody's playing needle fiber and you're playing needle fiber. So it's just a good side option if you do. I don't have a side deck for this deck, but as just a side option is cherries because, you know, if you're going second, um, you know, this is just good because it, it takes away their needle fiber. Okay, extra deck. Uh, so the extra deck you're gonna play, uh, you play, oh, let's make sure we do it the right way. Of course, you're gonna play three fire, three fires. Uh, that's the best one in my opinion because you just add whatever back. Three water because she adds from your deck. Um, unfortunately, with this deck, you just really want engage. That's like your your bread and butter, but you just can't play it. So it just it's, it hurts. But this deck is still really good. Uh, Hayate, this card's an MVP too. I didn't think I would like this card, but it just it works. Uh, another good card is. Um, Ace, um, ZZ, I call it ZZ, but it's really good. And then one of this guy, I just, I don't know why I play it. It's just, I guess it's because it's ulti, so I play it. But it's, it's really cool. And then, uh, like I was saying back earlier, you play a lot of spells, right? So typically what you want to do is you want to go into your needle fiber. And, um, you know, it's easy to make needle fiber, uh, make your needle fiber. You can do it several ways. Like I use the fire, um, you got Ash Blossom. Or if you're just doing it the hard way, uh, Effect Veller. Effect Veller, activate Effect Veller. Now you have two monsters. You link it out for link three. Go into her, activate her effect. Since you have three spells, link out. And then you go into this guy. This guy, you target her, becomes 5,300 attack. And then depending on how many um, attributes you have in your grave, you can pop cards and they can't respond. So usually you have a fire, a water, or earth, and a dart. Yeah, and a light. So you have at least five targets. So you just clear in back row. So, yep, uh, that's the deck. But I just want to say shout out to our team. Like I said, we're still working on everything, but the team is officially now Team Elite Savages. Or Elite Savages. Yeah, Elite Savages. So, yeah, shout out to Malachi. He's the man. <laughs> and shout out to, you know, Dark Magician. But that's it. Bye, guys.